Yes, of course, we know him. We know him. We know him. He said these people deliberately spread hatred against Muslims. They are known for that. They get paid for that. And that's why they don't answer questions. We know him. We know him. You just keep brainwashed. These people. says women should cover their heads. In fact, I think that many Christian ladies are not following the Bible. That puts me in a minority camp in modern day Christianity. You know why? Because in this day and age, most Christians don't do this. So what? I just want the truth. I'm not afraid to admit that many Christians are not living after the pattern of Jesus. I don't care if Christians hate me for telling you the truth. If a Muslim says something that's true, I'll accept it because it's true. Okay? I don't care who's right or wrong. Well, what, well obviously who's right. Whoever says the truth is the truth. And whoever says what's a lie is a lie. And so when I read the Bible and I read the Quran and I study the Quranic history and I study the biblical history, what I find out is one thing I love about the Bible is it explains things that the Quran doesn't explain. You know, I know with many Muslims, there's many, many Hadiths. There's authentic Hadiths, and there's weak Hadiths, and there's middle ground Hadiths, and everybody's debating about what's the right Sunnah, or what's the right practice. It's very different. In fact, if you really want to be a, a, a full-fledged Muslim, from my understanding, you have to be really learned and studied. You have to read all the Hadiths. And most of the average people that I speak to don't understand Arabic. They can recite it. They can maybe speak some of it, but they don't understand the words. And then they say, well, you know what? It's a very hard language because it's ancient Arabic. In fact, the modern day uh, Qurans that you have have vowel markers that are according to a certain reading in this part of the world. And many people understand it that way, or, but most people rely on the translations, the English translations, if you're English or in the, in the Urdu. Sure, I'm not arguing. That. No, I'm not arguing. I rely on, on the English translations of the Bible. You're right. I rely, if I was to read the Quran, I would rely on the English translations. Because I don't read Arabic. Really. I, I'm, I'm teaching myself Arabic. I know the, I know the alphabet, but I'm not uh, an Arabic scholar. Okay, so you need to know that up front. I've read the Quran many times. And what I discover about the Quran versus the Bible is that many of the things that the Quran speaks about doesn't, it's not explained. You need to go back to the biblical text to explain it. For instance, does any Muslim here know why there was a temple that God commanded them to build? How many Muslims can explain to me right now why there was a temple, why there is even a temple in Jerusalem today? Does anybody know? Raise your hand. This is where I'm asking you a question. Does any Muslim know why there's a temple in Jerusalem? Do you know? What's the reason? The mosque, yeah. The mosque. Okay, there's a mosque. Al-Aqsa Mosque. I was actually there. I, I it's been built been there. in 80, uh, after, the, after the death of Muhammad. Right, right, right. Yeah, so the mosque... 80 years after... Right, 80 years after they, they came to Jerusalem and, and, and many people became Islam and Muslim. Okay, but, that, but why was there a temple before? Do you know that there was a temple in Jerusalem yeah. before that? Does, any, does anybody that's a Muslim know why there was a temple? Okay, so this, so this is what I mean. Does anybody know what the dietary law of the Torah really is? 
because when I read the Quran, it only says that they were commanded to, to stay away from alcohol and from swine. Well, that's not true. Do you know what the full dietary law was? Not many Muslims know. Yeah, sure. But the dietary law was more than just swine. It was anything that was considered unclean, both in the sea and also in the land. So there was, there was swine, there was... No, I'm talking about the Bible. No, 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 I know, but it's not clear in the Quran, from my, from my understanding. What, no, from what the Jewish people were... Okay, the blood. Yeah, you're right, you're right. I agree, I agree. So it talks about staying away from the blood, and the dead, and swine, and alcohol. Those four things. But, but the actual... Torah doesn't say to stay away from alcohol. It does say to stay away from swine, things uh, that and from blood. So I agree with that. But it doesn't give you the full list of what was in the Torah about the full list of unclean. You know, shrimp is unclean to a Jew. You know that anything with shellfish is unclean to a Jew. It's in the Torah. All right. So, so the fullest extent, the most cleanest dietary law that you could ever buy a go by, if you really want to live a very clean lifestyle. It's actually found in the Torah and not in the Quran. This is what I've discovered as I've read. I also read, just like you didn't know the meaning of the temple, I'm gonna explain what the meaning of the temple was. If you go back in the Torah, God commanded Moses to build a tabernacle. And this tabernacle had three sections. A common place, a holy place, and the holies of holies. And there was a man appointed called a high priest. And there were other people from the line of Levi. This was a, one of the tribes, from the tribe of Moses' tribe, Aaron's tribe, where they were commanded to be responsible for bringing people back to God and teaching the people about God. One tribe was supposed to do that. And this tribe um, was responsible for all the things in the utensils. They had to clean it, make sure the temple was sacred. And they could not approach God without a sacrifice. And the Torah is very clear that without the shedding of blood, uh, the atonement for sins is, is within the blood. This is what the Torah of Moses teaches. And in fact, the, Torah, uh, the Quran wasn't even specific about the Passover. How many of you know the meaning of the Passover? As a Muslim, do you know what the meaning of the Passover is? No, 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 I'm, ask, I'm asking questions, so I'm just, I'm work with my question. No, 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 no. I am, I'm very reasonable. I'm taking my own time flying to Canada with my own money. The day that you pay me for my trip, then over a thousand dollars for my flight. Okay, right, okay, so listen to me. I'm being very reasonable. If you want to talk to me, don't hijack, don't be another hijack. Okay. Oh, yeah. Come on, man. I want to be another hijack. But, but that's up to you. Did I put a gun to your head to force you? No. No, but it's not a But you're hijacking me. This is, this is cool now. But I'm trying to talk. You don't want people to be knowledge and talk. Did I say that? I'm teaching. I'm teaching. Uh, this is speaking is cool now. The challenge. Talk and challenge. I've been listening here and I'm not listening to everybody. Keep on going. Keep on going. I'm looking for the truth. And I'm here to be the future of hijacking and fighting at me. But you are hijacking. You know what hijacking means? You know what the word hijack is? It's speaker's gone, I get you to it. Taking over. Are you taking over my I'm conversation? Not taking over. Then what are you doing? I'm in your conversation. You're interrupting. I'm in your conversation. No, 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 I didn't ask you for a question. Well, you, you can go I, if I you don't like it. It's speaker's gone. You can't get it. You just came out. It's talking nonsense as well, man. Things going on for 150 years and they're still. I just want to say something. But I'm not listening. You talked about but I'm not listening. Because hey, I'm talking. Okay, if you're, if, if, if you're gonna, you, you know, unreasonable. No, no, I'm not being unreasonable because, because I'm reasoning, I'm reasoning and I never ask for your reason. I just reason. wanna know. I don't know you. I just wanna Do know I know you? Anidawa. But I don't know you. Okay. You don't have to know nobody. But, but, but this corner, people your just. Hand, you're interrupting talking. my conversation. With all due respect, I'm not asking for your opinion. I don't want to be. Hey, you ain't gotta know nobody. I'm talking to this group. I just wanna know. And I'll tell you why I'm not answering you because I'm talking. I wanna know why do you think you meant to be why should I feel you? Don't give me an advice. You're changing my discussion. 
Excuse me, I'm not the temple. This is ridiculous. I'm here wanting to learn, and I'm here to hijack. You want to learn? Listen, listen. If you really want to learn, you don't want to learn. If you don't like the rules, you speak a school. Now you're coming out. Listen, listen. 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 Listen,
There's a reason why this person doesn't want to talk to us. There's a reason. There's a reason. There's a reason why he's walking away. Just remember lunch. We can still give you a challenge. He gets challenged, he runs away. Yeah. We can still keep walking, you know, trust oh, us. We're in the biggest corner. We're going to go everywhere you go. Ask him questions. I love you. I love you. I watch his YouTube. I watch his YouTube channel. I watch his YouTube channel. Wow, I, 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 I. Here we go, we got another hijacker. This is this is what we call harassment. Why are you scared? Harassment? Why are you scared? Why are you scared? Why are you scared? Why are you scared? You don't want to be sir, 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 sir. With all due respect. You know what's you know harassment? We're on the bike lane. This is for the bikes. Move, move, move. This is harassment. Bikes. You know what? You know what, guys? Listen, listen, listen. 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 If you if you want to learn, you said you want to learn, but you're a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. How do you know? You're a liar. I'm gonna tell you why you're lying. You don't want to learn. You're not even listening. I can see your actions. I know your heart by your actions. From the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Listen, I'm talking. You're alive. You're alive. You know why you're alive? I just said it, and I'll say it again. You said you want to know about Jesus. You want to learn. You want to become a Christian. No, I said I would. You would. Okay, now I'm talking. I'm talking. But you're not listening. But guess what? But guess what? I'm not done. Okay. So if you want to learn, listen, listen, listen. You said you want to learn from me. Listen, listen, listen to me. I didn't say I want to learn from you. So I don't want to hear. So I don't want to. I don't want you to teach because you want me to teach you. No. So if you want to be taught by me, then listen. If you don't want to be taught from me, then shut up. I said I will listen. When can I talk? He goes when I finish. When I finish, he goes I don't. Do you do you actually want to learn? Ask him a question. Yes. Give me your book again. Said, Give me your book again. You got a book called Bart Ehrman, who's a clear uh, guy that tries to debunk the Bible. Expert. Expert. So you're reading the book. You, you have your question. How, how often do you come to me? Listen, listen to me. How, how often do you come to me? Forget the law. So you spoke to many Christians already. Okay. 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 So you've heard. Everything that people can possibly say about you. Okay. So, if you don't know, then listen. Okay. Then continue to listen. Listen, when I'm done, listen, this is my teaching. I decided to teach this to you. I should be allowed to speak to one I can speak to you. I can speak to you. It's important to speak over corners and rules. You can speak over corners. Listen, if you want to speak over people, then speak over yourself. Excuse me, you're talking about etiquette. I'm not double standards that apply to me. Okay, that was standard. You don't know what's going on. You just hear. You know he's not allowing us to speak. Yeah, but we're trying. You know, listen, listen to me. 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 Listen
Sidewalk, so I can use my uh, amplifier because I don't. I don't know. I'm just trying to, you know, you said something there, and then you talk about Jesus, but then you spoke about God. We're not ignorant of Satan's devices. It's not ignorant. What's uh, ignorance yeah, about but, 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 it? But you know what? You want to listen? I'm asking him. Did I shout out for you? He interrupted and listen to what he has to say. You know, you know, he's he 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 got a car. Take his car, then email him later, bro. You know what? There's two types of people in the world. Send him an email. There's two types of people in the world. There are people. I'm not Jamaican. I'm Saint Lucian. But that doesn't mean nothing. I'm Muslim. That's who I am. I'm Muslim. That's it. It doesn't matter what I am. I'm Muslim. You need to grow, bro. You need to grow. There's two types of people in the world. There are people that want to learn. There's people that don't want to learn. Go ahead. Speak first, my brother. You go. No, no, no. Leave him. Leave him. You go ahead, my brother. Your wife's calling you, bro. Your wife's calling you. She's at home. Your wife's calling you, bro. Just let him speak. Then we're going to ask questions. Has he finished? Yes. Has he finished? Come on, let him speak. Let him speak. You let him preach, bro. Yeah, you go ahead. And afterwards, we ask questions. Yeah. So okay. what are you going to sure. talk about? Yeah? That's cool. Okay. All right, guys. Can everybody hear me? Yes. I got, I got a lot of people that love me, man, but I'm waiting, I'm waiting for the right lady. I, I'm not interested in men. What? No offense. Not you. Not you. <laughs> got a lot of guys. But listen, guys. Listen. So we're going back to Solomon's temple. The, the Quran does not explain Solomon's temple. It doesn't explain why God gave or made a covenant with Israel. It doesn't explain exactly what that covenant is. How many of you know, as Muslims, and I'm, I'm, I'm opening the floor here, how many Muslims know? Is somebody say opening the floor? Stop, I'm screaming. Stop. Oh. <laughs> he just, he just opening the floor. He just opened the floor. Don't you understand English? The floor is open. Give the brother a chance to. He ain't doing nothing. How many, how many Muslims, how many Muslims know what the old covenant was with Israel? Okay, you don't know. Do you know that the Quran talks about a covenant with Israel? The Quran talks about uh, a temple. The Quran talks about laws that were given to I to Israel. Does the Quran ever mention the Ten Commandments? This is the biggest thing to a Jew. There are so many missing details in the Quran. It would literally be impossible to really understand Abrahamic history prophetic history if you just went by the Quran alone. It would be impossible. Another thing. He hasn't opened the film. Another thing. Give him a chance. Give him a chance. Muslims are told that they need to believe in the Injil, the Torah, and the Zabur. How many Muslims have actually read the Torah? It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. Good point. Simple question, it doesn't exist. Okay. So, so, it doesn't exist. Hold on. So, most of you haven't read the Torah, so you don't know what it says. But there's details that are missing in the Quran. Number one. How many of you have actually read the Zabur? Most of you. Not many. They've been taught that it doesn't exist. How many of you have actually read the Injil? It doesn't exist anymore. It doesn't exist. Consistency, you see? So, so here, here's an interesting thing. You're taught to believe in something that doesn't exist. You're taught... Okay, thank I, I don't need the choir backing me up. Listen. Um, so, you have a religion that's taught to believe in something that doesn't exist. It did exist at one point. That did exist at one point, but it doesn't exist. Context, please. Okay, we got Mr. Two Cents. <laughs> nice, nice go blows. Two cents. Yeah, not nice blows. Okay, three cents. Deal with the oh, pens. Pens, sorry. One you guys don't have cents. You have pens. One pound. One pound, please. Okay. Yeah. Bro, but listen. I don't, I don't need your help. <laughs> don't you see that you causing the problem? No. Okay. Because listen to this. Now you listen to me now. You talking, he's talking, but you're answering him. But then it hurts you so much yeah, he's answering you back. You don't like it. Okay, so talk. just leave him and then you okay. talk. Ignore him. Because ignore him. Just 
ignore him. Yeah, good. Well, yeah. Where are these books? Good. Good. Okay. Enough okay. that you're gonna come in. Yeah. Okay. Just so, so the Quran has missing elements in it that that don't allow you to even understand history, and it leaves you ignorant. And in fact, what I've seen a lot, and I'm not accusing every Muslim to be a part of ISIS or not, so don't get me wrong. But what I see a, a lot on the news, and maybe it's false news, but I see them destroying a lot of historical artifacts in the name of what they believe, their version of Islam. Now, whether it's the true version or not the true version, I don't know. It's not the point. Not every Muslim is a part of ISIS, okay? Make, make that clear. But they're destroying historical artifacts and they don't give you the history to understand what they truly believe. And so, what that tells me is that I need something more than the Quran in order to substantiate my faith. In fact, what I learned from the Quran is this, is that it's supposed to confirm that which came before. It's supposed to confirm, according to the Quran, that which was between their hands. It's supposed to confirm it. And I've read many ayahs in the Quran, there's so many of them, so many of them, at the time of Jesus, where, Je where, where it was said that this message that I have confirms that which is within my hands, which was the Torah, which was the Tanakh, which is Zabur. If you understand uh, anything to do with Jewish history, they had a comp compilation of books that compose of the prophets, the writings, and the law. This is where we get the acronym or, or the word Tanakh. Okay, These, this is where we have the Old Testament. So at the time of Jesus, according to the Quran, there was actually a real Bible. So Jesus, according to the Quran, this is what I understand, believed that the Torah and the Zabur were intact at his time. And this is according yeah, yeah, to the yeah, Quran. No, so the argument that a revelation comes after to replace the old one, but the old one is corrupt and that's why the new one came, that's not even true according to the Quran. According to my reading of the Quran. Now sometimes when I read it in English, some people say, well, I didn't read the Quran. But yet, if you go to any masjid or any Islamic bookstore, they give you an English Quran. So how in the world am I supposed to believe in a book that doesn't translate itself to modern day languages? If it's not worthy enough to be translated into modern day languages, the then I could never understand it. It would take me literally four years Who to be saved. Enough? What, 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 what about the language of the Bible? Can I give us an example? It's English. 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 Is the Bible in English? Hold on. Oh, no, it's not. Exactly. Yeah. All right, man. We need to listen, listen, man. You, you, Listen. I know, I know. Listen. You just want to talk without Of course me. I want to talk. Your, your brother agrees with you that the Bible yeah. is a translator also. All the books. All the books, yeah. all the books have been translated. Even, all of them. Oh, your brother. Now you're, now you're taking so off from me it's going to take me yeah, yeah, yeah. another Stay on top, brother. Stay on top. You see that? Stay on top. This is on top. No, no, him, he is. To, oh, to, to know the Bible. Oh. He's in a condition for the Quran, which the Bible is showing himself in the book. And your brother with that. Am I allowed to shoot myself in the foot? Go ahead, my brother. Like I said, I'm a man of truth. I'm not here to fight you. Okay, I'm not here to fight you. I'm not here to hijack you. Because you're hijacked. No, I'm not. No, you're hijacking the park. I'm there to protect you. You're hijacking the park. I'm saying I will speak and nobody will talk. All right, man. It's hard. Are you going to have to do that? You want to engage or you want to Since it's a small group, I'm going to just amplify it. Oh, we go. We're running away again. I'm just going to amplify myself a little bit in the small group. So that we can at least start. Oh, by the way, that's not allowed. You want to hear me or not? No, but Okay, so are you, are you going to let me speak? Yes. Or do I have to move again? Are you going to let me speak? No, I'm not going to let you speak. Oh, let me speak. Can you imagine this? I'm not going to let you speak. Okay, thank you. Now let's talk about it, yeah? Now. No, listen to this. Just leave him. Leave him. Leave him. Leave him. Leave him. You know. You know, I actually, you know, when I meet forceful people, they usually abuse their wives. No, no, no. Here we go now. Forceful people usually beat people up. Fight. Forceful people like to 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 fight. Forceful people
Forceful people control their wives. Forceful people cause fights. Forceful people have problems with them. for me to even know historical data and facts of Judaism, of Christianity, by the Quran alone. And that's why, and this is a clear reason why you see in Surah chapter 10, verses 93 and 94, it says, Muhammad, O Muhammad, if you're in doubt concerning anything revealed therein, ask, ask, let me say that word, ask the people of the book, the Jews and the Christians. Why would God... Listen, I, I don't know about you, but if, if I was a father and I had children, I would not tell my children to go to the crack attic down the road for medicine to cure his uh, 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 flu. I wouldn't do that. You know why? Because he's not a licensed doctor. He's not a licensed pharmacist. In fact, what he might say on the floor. But you said that you want to learn. You know, he's, he's you said that you've listened to a lot of Christians, yes. a lot of preachers, but he needs himself. I want to learn to somebody that. So you said he wants to learn. So he said, if you want to learn, I knew where he was going and where he's going to end. The question you asked was at the end. Because he would have answered your question. No, I said, can I ask? Ask. He goes, no. I'm speaking. Because you stood there, you stood there nicely listening, and then you spoke the whole thing. Let me tell you something. We speak to the worst of worst Christians, which not all of them are saying. They even allow us to speak. For God's sake, he's saying, no way. No, no, no. That's, that's his turn. That's his turn. That's his turn. So basically, listen, 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 and I'm, by, by the way, I'm going now. No, not in the park, Papa. Not in the park. We have a right to speak over it. He just wants to preach, though. No, let him preach. I want to preach, preach. Well, What about me? I want to preach. Yeah, so then you can get your corner. No, 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 I preach over his preaching. Yeah, but he's not going to listen to you. When he's talking about it. We need more speakers for around the world it's awesome I learned so much today speaker quarters rocks hello I just want to explain what's uh, happening behind me 
I'm Sadat Anwar. I'm here at uh, Hyde Park Speakers Corner where every Sunday Muslims and Christians uh, come together to discuss, talk and debate. Um, but behind me, there's another uh, gentleman from Toronto. His name is Pastor David Lin. Um, he not only opposes Islam, but he goes on right-wing news channels like Sun News Media and things like this, scaremongering against Muslims. In Toronto, he shows up at Muslim festivals. He's outside with a megaphone or a speaker, and he's preaching against Islam. He's promoting Christianity and so forth. Um, so I noticed that he's visiting uh, London as well. He came here to Speaker's Corner. So I was hoping that now, since he's always ready to debate people in Toronto on the streets, what he does on the streets is he usually has a microphone and he says, can any Muslim explain to me um, how come Jesus is the only prophet who didn't die? How come he's the only one who's coming at the end of times? And then he stops some kind of casual Muslim tourist, usually some Arab who can't speak English properly. Uh, he lets him say a few words on the mic and then he comes back on and says, see, the Muslim can't answer the question. He can't even answer this. So I was expecting that now he had an opportunity to debate with the Muslim brothers here at Speaker's Corner, but he did no such thing. He came, he just kind of said hello. Every time he saw one of the known debaters like Hamza, uh, like Hashim, he would just say, hello, nice to meet you. Yeah, I'll talk to you later on and he would move on. So Hashim challenged him to a debate. Um, and I was there, I saw David Lin say, sure, I'm going to come back. I'm just walking around the park, I'm going to come back. He hasn't come back. I don't imagine that he's coming back now. It looks like he's going to be leaving after that. And if he does come back, then there'll be plenty of cameras that will catch him debating with Hashim. Adnan Rashid challenged him to a debate. That you guys have on the video. Adnan was asking him to debate. He absolutely refused. So my point is that in Toronto, when he's unchallenged on the streets, he stops any Muslim, anytime a hijabi walks by, he asks questions about Islam um, and he wants to debate with them. But now that he had the opportunity to debate uh, with uh, Muslim debaters there at Speaker's Corner, suddenly, oh no, I'm not here to debate. I just want to preach my testimony. I just want to preach about Christ. But if you go and listen to him, he's not preaching about Christ. He's still talking about Islam. He's still talking about why the Quran doesn't make sense and Prophet Muhammad doesn't make sense, sallallahu alayhi wa and so forth. So it just shows you how disingenuous some of these missionaries are. He's ready to debate every week on the streets in Toronto, but now he has an opportunity to debate. There's a park full of Muslims willing to debate him, waiting to debate him. And he's literally, he's gone outside of the park and he's now preaching on the sidewalk. So basically he picks on weak Muslims. So he picks on the weak Muslims and now when he when he had an opportunity to debate with Muslims who are uh, You know who are used to debating he, he literally refused to do it. I mean he was surrounded by Muslims He refused to do it and if I know him well I suspect that he will put a video up of it as well, but it'll be titled Muslim mob attacks yeah, he will chop it, he will edit yeah. it and Muslim mob, uh, you know attacks yeah. uh, Christians, so I would uh, ask you to not put the video up right away first see what he puts up It'll, his version will be Muslim mob attacks. Then you can put up the true version, which is Adnan, almost begging him to debate, uh, but he refused to debate. Yeah. So you know him personally, so it's not as if, like, you know, like it's not anyone like general out of the blue. He's, he's, he does this. Yeah, a known Islamophobe in Toronto. He preaches on the street. And it's funny when I went now and I pointed out to him that how come you're not ready to debate now? Because in Toronto, you're ready to debate with women, with hijabis, with people who can't speak English. Now you had a chance to speak uh, and to debate with Muslims who speak English. You should be looking forward to this. Um, you know, he just responded by saying, I know this guy, he's talking about me. He said, I know this guy, this guy's a hate monger. He's calling me a hate monger and he preaches against Christianity, which, which we never do that. At our Dawah stall, we never do that. If somebody comes and asks us, you know, something about God or Trinity or this and that, we explain the differences. But we don't have a microphone preaching against uh, Christianity. You could probably go there now, probably, my, my bet is, I could be wrong, he'll still be talking about Islam right now. So it's very strange that he would have accused me of uh, preaching against Christianity. Uh, I've just done those three, four formal debates. Uh, those, that's not preaching against Christianity, that's not hate mongering. Those were formal disciplined debates. Uh, but what he's doing is like this, and he purposely goes to places where he's unchallenged. Yeah. yeah. And unfortunately in Toronto, even if you go to a Muslim festival, you'll be unchallenged uh, because the Muslims there somehow are not uh, kind of as sturdy as the, as the, uh, the brothers here. So he had the chance to debate and he didn't do it. So it just shows you how disingenuous he is. Run away. Yeah. Run away.